Oh, one surprise after another. Hi. Oh, thanks for letting me stop by. I, uh, I brought these for you. Oh, you didn't have to do this. I wanted to. I thought we deserved a chance to get to know each other without a two-year-old chaperone. I like the way you think. The pill was a generic sedative. Fortunately, it had a lot number we could put into the computer. Yes? Bingo. The entire shipment was traceable to the city hospital. Oh, that's great. That's great, Victor. So this obviously confirms that the rapist is somehow affiliated to the hospital. If he is, uh, it makes sense where he would know where to send you flowers. Also, how he gained access to Kane's room. Yeah, the only problem is that every doctor and nurse in the place has access to the dispensary, not to mention the lab technicians and the maintenance crews and mm -hmm. any patient in the place with a hanker and a cup of buzz. Did you get a, a, a fingerprint off the container? Smudges only. Even if there were a clear print, without a print from the rapist for comparison, it's not going to help us any. Well, so you're no closer again? No, this is a step. And every step gets us closer to finding this guy. I think I'm going to go over and talk to Julia. Father Michael is with her tonight. You know, it might be better for you to get some rest. Yeah, but, sweetheart, I know what she's going through. And I really think that I should at least be there if she wants to talk to somebody. Let her know that she should get professional help or at least some support. Why don't you talk to her tomorrow? I'm sure if she follows you as an example, she'll do fine. I'm really proud of the way you handled this. You know that. No, it was different. I had you. That should be Boswell. Hello. Yeah, I'll hold, sure. It's a hospital. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Thank you very much. Well, any leads? Um, it, that wasn't the call I was expecting. Um, the results of your amnio are back from the lab. The flowers weren't necessary, but they're beautiful. I owe you an apology for my quick exit. Oh, forget it. It'll make a good uh, blind date story. That's just the point. It had nothing to do with you. I wanted to minimize the damage. I'm afraid I'm not at my best when flustered by a mere toddler. You look good with pink cheeks. Oh, where were we? Um, I guess in the, uh, the middle of uh, first date chit-chat. <laughs> my favorite. That was a very fine wine. I love a dry white. So delicately cliché woman who's not afraid to go along with the crowd. That takes courage. Oh, I'm a tiger, I assure you. Excuse me. Hello? I'm watching you, baby. What? So why don't you get ready your creep date so we can have a real party? Who is this? Zach. Who the hell is this? He threatened me. It must be that rapist I've been reading about in all the oh, papers. I'm sure it's just a crank call. No, he said he was watching me. He knows you're here. God, the curtains. <laughs> Zach, there's someone out there. What? Where? I saw someone move over there. Be right back. Where are you going? Lock the door. Please, don't leave me. That was pretty fast, huh? Yeah. Maybe we should go over to the hospital tonight and get the results. What now? Why wait? 
Well, the results aren't going to change overnight. I mean, we can go tomorrow. That's true. So you're uh, completely calm about this? Sweetheart, I already know what they're going to tell me. This is our baby. I was pregnant before I was attacked. I know that. I even remember the night it happened. When we made love that night, it was... It was different. It was as if whatever we were saying became real all of a sudden. And the next morning I woke up and I knew I was pregnant. I wish I remembered that night as well as you do. Well, it went something like this. A nice beginning. Mm -hmm. And then I think you did uh, this. And you did? Mm -hmm. I did something like this. That's. Uh... Oh. It's starting to come back to me now. Mm -hmm. And then. This was next. <laughs> and so on. Yes, so Before I got this, I saw his face. 